Hi, I'm Myra and I am so glad that you got your Bellamy makeup and I'm going to show you exactly how to use it step by step. You may not have all the products that I'm going to share in this video with you, but they're going to give you an idea of what they do as you start your Bellamy makeup journey. I just want to thank you so much for trusting me with your makeup and I can't wait to show you all the things that you can do with your new liquid makeup that's skincare infused. First and foremost, we wanna make sure that we are starting with a nice and prepped clean canvas. So that means you already cleansed, you already hydrated and moisturized your skin. Now you're ready to apply your SPF and your primers to help your makeup last all day long. You want to use a good amount of your SPF 50. This is gonna prime, protect, and prepare your skin for your makeup. What I love about this is that it leaves no white cast. So it's really nice and it doesn't feel oily or greasy. And you wanna make sure that you apply this even down here on your chest and whatever you have left over on your hands. Let this sit for about a minute. Take a drink of your coffee. <sighs> Look at your phone, do something really quick while you let this absorb on your skin. Once that has soaked in is when you want to use your primers. If you purchased one from Bellamy, you got the Bellamy um, mattifying primer. You just want to apply this where you see your pores, just the areas that you could get the most oily. Or if you got the illuminating primer, this one, you can apply it all over the skin with a very small amount. A little bit goes a long way and this is going to give your skin a beautiful sheer look. And then when you put your foundation over, it's just going to glow. I use one pump of the illuminating primer all over my skin and it just gives this really beautiful glowing effect to the makeup it's crazy 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 but it's so nice so you would just apply that small amount this is an additional step while this is kind of setting on the skin you want to prep your under eyes either with an eye serum or an eye cream just making sure that these are really nice and hydrated that way when you apply your liquid concealer under there, you're not gonna have it creasing as much. Makeup's gonna crease anyway, it just depends how well you blend it, but you're not gonna have it being very dry down there. The under eye area is so important for it to be nice and hydrated. It doesn't matter what kind of makeup you wear. You always need to um, hydrate them. I share this oil all the time from Cora Organics. Um, let me know if you want the link to this. This is amazing. To condition and hydrate your under eyes and prepare them for makeup and then the last thing i do before i apply my makeup is i use my hydro mist this is going to prime condition and protect kind of help your makeup last all day long so if you didn't use a primer that's fine you can use this at the beginning at the end of your makeup as well to just seal everything so i apply a nice amount and then i give it like two minutes for it to kind of soak in so that it can grip the makeup and I begin applying my makeup. Let's talk tools real quick. You can use a damp sponge or you can use a brush. Today I'm going to show you how I use a brush because I just feel it's a lot quicker and less messier. So um, this is the blush brush from this um, brand. But if you have a brush that's a little dense, doesn't, you don't need this brush. You can use the brush that you have at home. Just make sure it's not so fluffy and that it has a little bit of density to it. That way you can really pick up the product and it doesn't absorb it all into your brush. So I like to put this in the back of my hand and I use one pump, maybe a pump and a half, depending how much coverage you want, but less is more. And then I just kind of mix it a little bit in my hand, the back of my hand. Whatever I have left over, I begin to apply it just in the middle of my face because what we want to do is apply the product in the middle of the face and slightly, slowly just flow it and blend it outward. But we don't want a full foundation um, cast all over because that's going to really wash us out. We don't need that much makeup. Once you kind of get the feel of this makeup, you can just apply it with a the brush. Then I begin to just tap it into place and I am avoiding my under eyes. I mean, this makeup is so sheer though that you can apply the smallest amount under the eyes but you really don't want to do so much then whatever i have left over i'm going to get it with my brush and i'm going to begin to just blend it tapping it on the skin 
Remember, liquid makeup dries pretty quick, so you wanna work pretty fast. And just get it right in the middle of the face. Bring it down your neck, kind of lightly, spreading it out. But you don't necessarily have to go all up in here because we're gonna add a little bit of contour there, so we don't need product there. Now, if you need more coverage there, you can definitely add a little bit of more product and then do that neck just in case because the last thing you want is for this to have a lot of color and then your neck to be different you want to blend it all together and give that even tone all over if you've got a dark concealer to color correct under your eyes you want to use the smallest amount and you're only going to dab it in these areas that you see the darkness then with your finger with your ring finger you can press it right into place and look up so that you can really blend this product well and that's it this is where you want this now you're gonna blend the other side too if you feel like you need a little bit more in that area you can always add just where you need it and make sure that you're blending it with your finger because the warmth of your finger is going to help smooth this out and blend it beautifully. And one thing I like to do before I put on my bright concealer is I like to get that mist again and then just get a little bit with my finger and then I press it right where I color corrected. That way this doesn't move and budge when I apply the other product because we're layering. So right here we're gonna sandwich, like we're sandwiching, you see, so that when you layer product, it's not right on top of each other. You're actually putting something underneath it so that it can grip and it can last longer all day. I'm gonna put in my bright concealer. And this is the one that's gonna add brightness to the face and make it look like you slept. It's the lighter one and you can apply it, you know, anywhere that you want to add light to the face and then blend it to perfection. Here's when you can use that damp sponge and just blend the makeup really nicely and gently pressing it lightly, not pressing it really hard, just lightly pressing it because you don't want to remove it. You just want to make sure it's well blended and with a damp beauty blender, you can even damp it with um, some setting spray and that's gonna give it even more power for it to last longer all day and not really budge or, or you know, get patchy or creasing and things like that. If you got the darker concealer to bronze and contour, you are going to apply this where your hairline is. A little bit goes a long way and I don't have foundation up here. And I don't really have foundation here. So I am just going to apply like this a little bit. This is going to give dimension to the face. And then I'm gonna apply a little bit of this right on top of my nose. Because this is not like cream, this is different. This is liquid, so it dries really fast. So we wanna work fast. I apply it here and then I even use it like a lip liner to give me that shadow there on the lips. You could use a lip liner, I just, I'm just not using one right now. And we can do a little dot right here, a little line right here, and then just kind of bring it here. And I'm gonna show you how you can blend all of that. I'm gonna add a little dot right here, and now we're gonna blend all of this together. You can even go here like this if you wanted a little bit more lift using that brush i'm going to press and i'm going to just blend upward and i'm tapping and i'm blending upward and you see that how beautiful that looks if you want more you can always add more that's the beauty you always want to start with a little bit and add more i'm blending this towards the hairline so that i don't have that really weird um separation line so I'm blending this out towards the hairline. And this I'm blending this up. And it's just gonna blend so nice. So when you apply your contour or bronzer, you don't wanna pass it past this pupil area. Just kind of make sure that you're staying 
kind of like where the outer area corner of your eye is and use that as your guide let's blend this so i really like this brush that i that i am using right now because it's kind of angled so i can do a lot with it and it gives me like medium coverage and we don't really need so much because we're adding different colors in different areas of the face. You see how it all kind of just comes together so beautifully? Now here I'm going to blend this down and swoop it here. So if you have like jowls and stuff, this is really going to help kind of make it seem and give the illusion that you don't as much. And it's underneath that I did it and I'm just sliding the product over bringing this down but do you see how this kind of gave that illusion that i have that shadow there but it's not so dark and it's really nice and clean so a little bit that's what you want to do just a little bit and then i'm going to lightly do little hair strokes to fill in what needs to be filled in to shape the brow not dragging the brow down and my brows are microbladed, so I'm kind of waiting for them to kind of not be so dark anymore so that I can have my natural shape. But I'm just going to do lightly little hair strokes and then blend this to perfection. And add a brow gel. If you got the moisturizing lipstick, I like to use this as blush too. And I just apply it this way. These are very long lasting lip colors and they're very hydrating for the lips. And I like to pair it with um, the lip gloss. It's so beautiful. And this color is called Empower. I'm gonna blend it, but before I do that, I'm also gonna add my glow drops so that I can have a beautiful glowy um, blush effect. So I got the glow drops here that are in shade Rose Gold. And I like to just apply a small little pump right above that. And then I'll get a little bit on my finger, like on my back of my hand. And I'll kind of blend it. And then I'll apply a little amount of that just right here where my nose is. My Cupid's bow. And I blend this really well. You can even use this on your eyes. Um, so I'm just going to bring whatever I have left over down to my neck. And then we're going to blend this with the same brush. I'm gonna just press it together and then tap it. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna just like kind of swirl it and blend it upward. And then I bring it up and down. I'm like just tapping the product. I'm not swiping it because we don't wanna take it off. We just wanna press it so that it just gets on top of the skin. Now, if you want more blush, you can apply a more amount but this is kind of what I do. And then I just, you know, like I always tell you, if you need more, you can always add more product where you need it. And then I'll blend this here. And there's no need to set with this because it's liquid makeup. It's not drying. It just sits beautifully on the skin because it has skincare infused in it. So it's super long lasting and it's not gonna transfer. And if you got this palette, I absolutely love it because it has so much that you can work with for your eyes. And if you are on the oily side and you want to still use a highlighter or a blush that is powder, I mean, you can just test it out, see what works for you. I personally try to stay away from applying any kind of powders here on this area because this is where we begin to see our fine lines and sometimes the powders can just, you know, really emphasize that even more. So I like using this color here. Sorry, my hair is here. Sorry, this color right here I don't know the name of it. Oh yeah, I do. It's just called eyeshadow one, two, three, and four, and they keep it super simple. This is a bronzer. This is a highlighter and a blush. It'll say it back here. And um, I like to add this color here just on top of my lid to just give me some dimension and some warmth up there. It looks very beautiful on all skin types. So you can just build that product up and it's just gonna give you the most beautiful natural look 
um, without it being so harsh on the eyes. Like I said, you can build up this product. There are two matte shades and two shimmers. And I like to use the shimmer in the inner corner of the eye, like right through here, just to kind of brighten that up. But again, you can also use your glow drops there. If, if you want more of a creamier look there and for it not to, you know, sink in here or anything, you can use something like that. Then I'll use this color that's a little lighter. Just dip in here and bring it up. And it just looks so pretty. So, so nice, super simple, and really opens up those eyes. Now you can use a little bit of your bronzer too, just underneath your lashes, like right here. And that's just gonna add something else to the eye. Do you see that? That's why this palette, I added in my recommendations because I feel like it's beginner friendly and you can do so much with it. Now this brush is not from Bellamy, this is from Saint um, because they have really great double-ended brushes. I'm gonna add a little bit more in my eyes to intensify the look, blending up to give that lift effect. But, and then whatever I have left over, I bring it down here. Now, if you don't want to use the liquid to um, contour your nose, you can always use a little bit of this matte eyeshadow too and do that. Like there's so many options with this that I really, really love it. And you can even add the little highlighter up in here, more in here. The possibilities are endless with this palette. So you can intensify the look too. If you wanted to on the outer corner of the eye, it's totally up to you. But there's so much to do with this. Now we're just gonna f um, finish the look with mascara and setting spray. And before I apply my mascara, I am just going to use one last spray of this mist to really hydrate the skin, protect it, and make the makeup last all day. Then I just curl my lashes. I don't use false, la false lashes. I've been using a lash serum that really helps my natural lashes grow. And I'm gonna give you a tip here. Um, not everybody likes this, but I encourage you to use a mascara that is waterproof with your makeup, with any makeup, because sometimes, you know, we're moving our eyes all the time and we can get the raccoon eye. So using a really good waterproof mascara, my favorite is from the L'Oreal brand. Um, Sky High or Lash Paradise. And then the last thing I like to do, even though this is very moisturizing, I like to add a gloss over it. And this combination is so beautiful together. This gloss really hydrates your lips all day long. It doesn't plump them up, it doesn't have that burning sensation. So, but it does really pump, plump up the skin, especially like if you're beginning to see a little bit of creasing on your lips, you know, from age, um, using a really good hydrating lip gloss with antioxidants in it is really gonna make your lips look so beautiful. So that's the finished look with your Bellamy products. I hope that this was helpful. Remember to use a little bit, have fun with it. If you have any questions or concerns, I'm always here to help you and I am just so incredibly grateful that you chose me to help you with your makeup.